Hey guys, welcome to my video. For today's tutorial, I will be teaching you how to make the basket weave stitch number three. To begin, all you're going to need is some yarn and a crochet hook. For this tutorial, you will need to know how to make chains, how to make the double crochet stitch, the front post double crochet stitch, and the back post double crochet stitch. I have videos on all of those and I will have them listed down below. Starting from the very beginning, making chains, you're going to make chains in the multiple of 8 plus 3 or 6 plus 3. I am using the 6 plus 3 for my example swatch, and I have already made 27 chains on my hook. To start row 1, make 1 double crochet into the third chain from your hook. You're now going to make one double crochet into each chain across. So that's one double crochet into the third chain and then one double crochet into each chain across for row one. To start row two, make two chains. You're going to skip the first stitch in your row. Over the next stitch, you're going to make a front post double crochet. And over the next two stitches, make a front post double crochet into each. So, so far that's three front post double crochet made in this row. Next, you're going to make a back post double crochet into each of the next four stitches. So this is going to be the next one. One back post made. Two. Three. And four. Over the next four stitches, you're going to make a front post double crochet into each. So that's one, two, three, and four. Same thing as before, you're going to make a back post double crochet into each of the next four stitches. Same thing as before, you're going to make a front post double crochet into each of the next four stitches. Same thing as before one back post double crochet into each of the next four stitches. Same 
When you reach the end of your row, you're going to have one stitch left. Into that last stitch, make a regular double crochet to complete your row. And that's how row two is looking. To start row three, make two chains. So same thing as row two, we're going to skip our first stitch. So row three is going to be our matching row. And what I mean by that is whatever front post and back post you worked on your last row, you're going to match those stitches. So I ended my row doing four back posts, which means around those back posts, I'm going to be doing back posts for the, these four right here. So I'm going to skip that first stitch and I'm going to start working my back posts over the next four stitches. And over those back posts I made in my last row. Now I've come to four front posts that I made in my last row and I'm going to work front posts around those. Next, these are four back post double crochets from my last row. I'm going to work back post double crochets around these. I'm going to work a front post over the next four of these previous front posts. I've come to some back posts. Work four back posts over your previous back posts. And lastly, the three front posts from my last row. I'm going to work three front posts over each of these. And into the top of this turning chain from our last row, make one regular double crochet to complete your row. And that is how row three is looking. To start row four, make two chains. So same thing as our other rows, you're going to skip your first stitch. And from row two and row three, these three stitches our front post double crochet stitches. So our fourth row is going to be our opposite row. We did two rows where the stitches match. We're now going to do the opposite. So these were front posts. We're going to do three back posts. So same thing here, this row and this row, 
were back post double crochet stitches. You're now going to do front post double crochet stitches over the next four. These next four were front post double crochet stitches. We're now gonna do back posts over them. These next four previous stitches were back posts. We're gonna do front posts over them. These next stitches were previously front post stitches. We're gonna do back posts over them. I had previously ended my rows with some back post stitches. So over the next four, I'm gonna be doing front post stitches. And like our last rows, to end your row, make a double crochet in the top of your previous turning chains. And that's how row four is looking. You would now alternate between rows three and four for however long you want your project. I did wanna break this down a little bit because I think it can get a little bit confusing. So you're gonna have that first row being all double crochet, that's like a little foundation row. The next row, row two, is gonna be establishing your stitches, your front posts and your back posts. Row three is gonna be matching the stitches that you made in row two, or your last row. Row four is gonna be your opposite row, where you make a row of the opposite stitches that you made in row three. Then going forward, you're going to repeat row three, so you're going to be making a matching row to row four. Then you're going to do row four, where you're going to do the opposite. So essentially, you're going to be doing two rows of the same stitches, two rows of the opposite stitches, and it's going to switch back and forth from there. So two rows of the same, two rows of the opposite, two rows of the same, two rows of the opposite. I hope that makes sense. I will have all of the rows timestamped down below so they are easy to reference back to. And that is going to be how to make the basket weave stitch number three. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please like and subscribe for more from me. You can follow me on all social media at crochet me lovely, all one word. Please leave me any feedback down below for future videos and tutorials that you would like to see. Thank you guys so much for being here and have a great day.